Joining me now is Royal and Entertainment reporter Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, let's start with the WNBA. Words you won't hear me saying too often, but star Caitlin Clark, who's only 22, is getting people interested in the WNBA in, in a massive way. Her performance is breaking viewership records. She's breaking encore records, but her success is inviting uh, hostility from other players. All sorts of comments are made. And here on court, she is called a bitch and she cops what we call in Aussie rules a hip and shoulder. And Clark. I mean, that's clear all which was called. The question is, will they call it unnecessary? Kennedy Carter. But it's not just uh, other players who are hating on Clark. Some in the media claiming her success is because of her race and because she's straight. There is a thing called pretty privilege. There is a thing called white privilege. There is a thing called tall privilege. And we have to acknowledge that. And so um, the, part of it is about race. Kinsey, can you believe the hostility this girl is facing for the crime of getting people interested in the WNBA? You'd think the players in particular would be grateful. Yeah, I mean, I think Kennedy Carter just proved that she's as trashy as her mama spelled her name. Um, and to dramatically recreate <laughs> Charles Barkley's rant, y'all petty. He said, you women out there, y'all petty, man. He said, these girls are hating on Ka Caitlin Clark. <laughs> They should be thanking her for gift, getting them on private charters, all the money and visibility she's bringing to the WNBA, what she's accomplished. He said, give her her flowers and stop being petty. Um, and he even thanked her for bringing all of this new money and shine to the WNBA, something that you and I would never be talking about typically. No. Absolutely. Now, comedian Jerry Seinfeld had an interesting interview recently where he called out the pro-Palestinian protesters who were trying to cancel his comedy shows. And he also, Kinsey, asked for a return to traditional masculinity, especially in public figures. Have a listen. In that era, again, it was JFK, it was Muhammad Ali, it was Sean Connery. Howard Cosell, you can go all the way down there. That's a real man. I'm gonna, I wanna be like that someday. Mm. Well, no, I never really grew up. It's, that's a, I mean, you don't want to as a comedian because it's a childish uh, pursuit. But um, I miss uh, a dominant masculinity. Yeah, I get the toxic, I get it, I get it. <laughs> but still, I like a real man. He likes it to see real men, the return of real men. I think uh, he would have a lot of support and not just amongst men. No, I agree with you. And it's nice to see someone that ha that's achieved as much as he has be so level-headed about it all. Um, you know, he there, there's an element of courage there because a lot of people are so fearful of being canceled today, especially, I mean, especially about this topic, uh, to be a strong masculine mm. man. I mean, typically that people are um, scolded for that. So the fact that he's brave enough to say it's OK and look at some of these heroes of the past there, you know, they were wonderful people. Um, I think that that takes a lot of courage. Now, the bitter breakup of uh, Hollywood heavyweights Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, it's taking another ugly turn. The kids seem to be in open rebellion against their father. 15 year old Vivian uh, is the latest child to drop Pitt from her Jolie Pitt last name in a playbill for her new musical. Eldest daughter Zahara told classmates at co in college that she too was just Jolie. There was no Pitt in her name and Shiloh has gone one step further on her 18th birthday she filed paperwork to drop Pitt from her name legally that's telling uh, Kinsey to do that as soon as you turn 18 and are legally able to do so yeah, and we don't hear a lot from Brad's camp. He seems to be tight-lipped and it keeps his circle small. A lot more leaks from Angelina's squad. Um, but 
we do hear that Brad is heartbroken over this Shiloh. The, the going as far as having it legally changed is apparently really hurtful to Brad Pitt. Obviously, there's still a lot of animosity when it comes to this family separation. Angelina alleges that there was physical and mental abuse and, and abuse of alcohol throughout the process. Um, but, you know, you can't help but think about uh, I mean, just it looks dysfunctional. Unfortunately, it makes them all look like, um, is there ever any peace here? Because they're constantly in the headlines for the most negative topics. It, yeah, absolutely. It has ended very badly indeed. Now, Spider-Man star, Spider-Man star Tom Holland is starring in what the New York Post is calling a woeful production of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet on the West End. Here is uh, the review. I love this part. They said, the stripped-down Shakespeare show is a dreary and pretentious slog that's about as passionate as as an economics lecture. Uh, another considered opinion was no attention is paid to either the text or the author's original intentions, merely flashy look at me staging. And I also like this one, two and a half hours of my life that I will never get back. But it did give me time to mentally redecorate my home. <laughs> But, Kinsey, because uh, of Tom Holland's star power, the play's three-month run is almost completely sold out. So uh, and, and it's sold out before anybody even saw it. So I guess the reviews don't matter. I mean, and if you are able to get a ticket, they're at least $400 a pop. Um, my favorite line from that review was, if you want to go gawk at a celebrity, be my guest, but Ambien is cheaper. I think Tom Holland is a big <laughs> enough star. He's got uh, so many people that just absolutely adore him that sitting in that theater, um, even for two and a half hours, being so close to him, I think they're going to appreciate it. But hopefully he pursues something much different in the future. Well, I think he's going to do another play. That could be a rumour. Uh, before you go, I've got to ask you about uh, John Lennon's son, Sean Ono Lennon. Uh, he's finished reading Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, and he tweeted a review of his own. Uh, it, was, it wasn't uh, long. It was just, spare me. That was his <laughs> response. Uh, I quite like that. Uh, Sean is a really interesting character. He's uh, becoming quite a commentator on, on all sorts of issues on social media. Well, yeah, and when there was some pushback, he came back at people. Like, he was going back and forth fighting for his opinion, and he said he did have empathy over Harry's loss because he lost a parent, too, at a young age, but he said that's why he was so mm. disappointed with his outlook. He was hoping he'd be smarty, smarter, and he called Harry an idiot and a buffoon. So uh, a, he just earned a Twitter follower in me. <laughs> Kinsey Schofield, thank you for your time this evening.